my name is Pat Halderman and I'm a friend of the Silver Strand Dojo International. I've been asked to do a brief video about archery and how it can be compared to a martial arts activity. I was introduced to the sport of archery in 1995 and struggled like most beginners to find the way to hit the bullseye on the target. That was my goal, the incorrect goal but mine anyway. I couldn't or wouldn't understand my instructor's demand to shoot only from 10 yards and to not use a paper target, only the bare backstop, until I practiced enough to consistently shoot my arrows in a small group. That would show my form was consistent and I was following the steps to execute almost perfect shots. Practicing form, working on technique, and not being distracted by trying to hit the middle of a target was the correct goal. It took a while, but I finally understood what the instructor was trying to tell me. I progressed from shooting in local tournaments all the way to nationals. After years of tournaments and an increasing level of anxiety about how I would perform and how many tournaments I could win, plus an increasing level of target panic, I saw I had lost the original spirit and joy of the sport of archery. Here again I lost sight of the goal and was searching for trophies and titles instead of what was important and that was for me the zen of archery and to become the arrow. I jumped back on track and for now shoot non-competitively and the joy of shooting my bow has returned. It is easy to pick up a bow and shoot some arrows at a target. It is not easy to learn all the steps required to execute a perfect shot. It takes years of repetition years of practice and the help of archery instructors to begin to master the art, the Zen in archery. Just as it is not difficult to learn a few martial art moves, it is difficult to become a master at any of the martial art disciplines. It takes years of practice to become proficient at any chosen art or sport. From the book Zen in the Art of Archery by Eugene Harigel, one of the most significant features we notice in the practice of archery and in fact of all the arts as they are studied in Japan and probably also in other Far Eastern countries is that they are not intended for utilitarian purposes only or for purely aesthetic enjoyments but are meant to train the mind indeed to bring it into contact with the ultimate reality. Archery is therefore not practiced solely for hitting the target. The mind has first to be attuned to the unconscious. If one really wishes to be master of an art, technical knowledge of it is not enough. One has to transcend technique so that the art becomes an artless art growing out of the unconscious. And from the book Archery Tackle by Adolf Shane, while the tendency in some quarters is to associate bows with toys given to children, let it be stated here that bows with which we are concerned are not toys. They are weapons which can do considerable damage if not rightly used. Draw a bow and release the arrow. You will then understand the true meaning of the phrase, fly as straight as an arrow. In flight, almost too swift for the eye to see, it strikes true on the target with scarcely a quiver. Being an outdoor sport, archery is an agency of health and because it demands skill, it is an agency of poise and control. The correct position at draw is one of grace and power. Now let's go over some fundamentals of archery. More detailed information can be found in the book, A Basic Guide to Archery, an official U.S. Olympic Committee sports series. Today I'll show you the basic technique of shooting an arrow with a traditional recurve bow. We will assume you have selected your tackle and accessories and located a suitable spot for archery practice. I will also hope you have selected a longbow or a recurve bow to start your archery journey. You can always learn how to shoot a compound bow later, but starting with the traditional bow will give you a good, solid foundation of how to shoot a bow. 
Before you can shoot, you must attach the bow string. This is called stringing the bow. The goal of stringing the bow is to secure the bow string to the bow, making it ready for shooting. Now that your bow is strung, you have loaded your arrows into your quiver and arrived at the shooting line. Of course, archery technique, as in all sports, is a complicated business. This is not a complete description of archery technique, but a quick reference checklist as recommended by the National Archery Association to help you pinpoint the basics. The stance. Stand perpendicular to your target, feet straddling the shooting line, and a shoulders width apart. Balance your weight over the balls of your feet. Stand tall. Knock the arrow. Place the arrow knock onto the bowstring. The index feather points away from the bow. Lay the arrow on the arrow rest and snap the knock onto the bowstring under the knocking point on the string. The draw. With the shoulder of your bow arm pushing and the shoulder of your drawing arm pulling, draw the bow string until it touches your nose and lips. Your elbow should stop behind and slightly above, never below your shoulder. The anchor. The anchor is the final stage of the draw and the two should flow as one motion. The anchor refers to resting your drawing hand against your face before the aim and release. You may choose to anchor under your chin or at the corner of the mouth. The aim. Now concentrate on the target. Tighten and release. As the back muscles continue to tighten at the moment of release, the drawing hand completely relaxes and the string escapes from the hand. Let the tension in your back muscles pull your drawing hand straight back along your neck. Follow through. Continue pulling your drawing hand back along the base of your neck. Allow the bow to gently rock in your bow hand and keep your bow arm up. A bow sling will keep it from falling to the ground. Follow through is an important part of shooting. Don't neglect this element of your overall technique. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope it gives you some insight into the relationship between archery and the martial arts and the dedication it takes to practice week after week month after month, year after year with both mind and body.